Michelle Obama was the main headliner at last night's Democratic National Convention, but her speech had a few misleading and downright false information in it like this. Watch. They watch in horror as children are torn from their families and thrown into cages and pepper spray and rubber bullets are used on peaceful protesters for a photo op. All right, so not one, but two false claims there. Even the AP calling her out on the one about the kids and the cages. That was started in 2014 in the Obama administration. But she wasn't the only one making questionable claims. Here's New York Governor Andrew Cuomo labeling the coronavirus the European virus. Listen. The European virus infected the Northeast while the White House was still fixated on China. And joining us now to discuss this is Bobby Everly, Republican strategist and host of the 13-Minute News Hour. Christian Whiten joining us as well. He's a former State Department senior advisor. Uh, good to see you both of you here, Bobby. I'll start with you. Uh, we point this out because the whole theme last night, if you watch, was about unity, kicking off with the national anthem, and so many folks. You saw John Kasich on another side of the party. But then you saw so many divisive claims. What were your, overline, or over, uh, your overhead thoughts about this? Well, you know, I feel like I got punched in the face, and I apologize if I look like it, because that's how I felt last night. Because, again, they're pushing this narrative of unity and coming together and love and all of this stuff. And yet, look at where the chaos is in this country. Look at where the anarchy is. And they talk about leading. It's it's absolutely outrageous. Michelle Obama actually, for me, summed it up, because she talked about the chaos out there. And it's because of the chaos that we need Joe Biden. It's Democrats that are running these cities, and it's Democrats that are running these states. They can't do either of those jobs. And yet, in all of this chaos, she wants us to put Democrat Joe Biden in the White House to lead the country. They are showing they can't lead, and they certainly, certainly can't bring people together when all of this chaos is caused from Antifa and the far left and Democrats that are refusing to impose some law and order and get things back to normal. Yeah, Christian, um, going on that, you didn't hear about the violence or the unrest in all these different cities. It wasn't really brought up. It was more so about the president and coronavirus. Your thoughts? Yeah, well, the Democrats are living in a universe uh, of, all, of, of just different facts, of non-facts. And this is a real problem, uh, you know, and you see this is going to sound like hyperbole, but in the former Soviet Union, when basically all of the establishment and all of the mainstream media is on your side and never challenges you, and you think you can get away with anything, you start believing your own lies, you think you can invent your own fact. And that's what we saw from Michelle Obama, who is a hyper-partisan, uh, you know, just perhaps the worst first lady in America. American history to go and say this thing. Oh, blame Trump for putting kids in cages. Your husband was the one who did that. He was the one who pioneered it, uh, did it to a much greater extent than in the current administration, where lo and behold, if you go to prison, no, you can't take your kids with you. Um, but, you know, just this, um, this, this inability to come to fact and to project uh, your own lies onto the other side. For Andrew Cuomo, the granny-killing governor whose directives, whose policies put COVID-19 infected people into nursing homes, the most vulnerable and dangerous possible thing yeah. you could do sort of a drive-by shooting. It's just insane. Let me jump in, Christian, because you, you make a great point, and I want to catch our viewers up because Cuomo slammed President Trump in his speech. Here's what the governor is saying. He's, what he said, rather, about President Trump, though, at the height of the pandemic. Watch this. But I want to thank, again, the Army Corps of Engineers did a fantastic job. Uh, and President Trump got it done, and he got it done very quickly. All right, so there's some praise for, for the president there, but complete bashing last night on the, the coronavirus response. That's one thing to respond to, Bobby. The other one right. is um, what happened with the nursing homes and some 6,000 deaths that we know of that happened at the nursing homes, not the ones that were counted when they actually went to the hospital and died there. Um, and now he's writing a right. book, apparently, as well. Bobby, your thoughts. Yeah, and again, and he was also on a radio station, I believe it was Howard Stern, and said that President Trump had delivered for New York. He had delivered for New York. That was his assessment of what this administration, that they're bashing, that they're going to be bashing all this week, 
That's what he said about it. But he's gone prime time now, and he's at the convention, and it's all about bashing Trump. And those stats, those nursing home stats, are frightening and irresponsible when you think that what's counted now are the deaths inside the nursing home, not the ones that got so sick they went to the hospital and then died. There are thousands and thousands of others left unaccounted in his stats. He has done a terrible job a terrible job of managing his state, just like these other Democrats that I've listed, just like the mayors in Seattle, Portland, Chicago, you name it. They're all believing their same stuff. And your other guest is right. I mean, there's this echo chamber where they just talk and say things. The media repeats it. The Democrat officials repeat it. And they start believing this stuff. And they try and they hope that the American people will believe it. That's why it's so important next week, in the absence of rallies, in the absence of really getting our message out on the large scale that President Trump is so good at, that we all need to get together and get our message out to counter that. Uh, final thoughts from Christian on this. Again, uh, tonight's uh, headliners will be Dr. Jill Biden and Bill Clinton. Final thoughts from Christian. <laughs> well, again, I don't know what the Democrats are thinking. I know they're trying to put on a moderate face, and maybe that's why they dug up Bill Clinton. But this is someone who was, you know, spotted on on, on pedophile island recently and has legitimate claims of sexual assault against him. Um, they're trying to put the left uh, in the closet and, and put what they think are moderate figures out there. It's not going to work. The left, I think, is going to be unhappy with this convention. The convention's a dud. Michelle Obama's uh, uh, speech was pre-recorded. That's why she didn't mention Kamala Harris at all. Um, and so, yeah, I think the Republicans hopefully should learn that this is not the way to run a convention and try and sort of make next week as real as possible. Uh, but we'll wait and see. I appreciate both of you coming on, sharing your opinions and thoughts on this. Bobby Everly, Christian Whiten, good to see you. Thank you. Okay, friends, thanks so much for watching. And before you go, please hit that subscribe button, hit that bell so you'll be notified. And here's a special video just for you so you can watch even more of the 13-minute news hour. And don't forget to check out GOPUSA.com for the best in conservative news and commentary. We'll see you next time.